Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today we have Hyoki in the lab. Hyoki loaned me this battery tester. I kind of mentioned it in an earlier video, and you know, this video I'm going to show you a quick way to test batteries. I have a battery that I need to replace my Jeep, I think, and so I've got a new battery. We're going to look at the old battery, the new battery, and we're going to look at the difference. The thing about this uh, tester is that it's really quick. It gives really quick, accurate measurements, and it's pretty sophisticated for such a small machine. So I've read about it, and I'm really interested in trying it. So it's the BT3554. This is the Dash 52, okay? It's pretty small. You know what? Let's go test, and we're going to come back and take a closer look, okay? All right, guys, this battery, this Jeep has been sitting here for a while. I haven't been driving it. So I can't start right now. It's just barely at the point where it won't crank over. So let's go ahead and test it. All right, this is the first battery I've tried. It got the plus here and then minus, and all you just touch down. 10.42 volts at 10.45 milliohms. Okay, let's use the hold menu. I'm gonna turn on the lights and dark out here. Turn that on, auto hold. And try that again. There we go. Now I can let go. 10.45 milliohms, 10.42 volts. So pretty nice. All right, let's try this on my Harley battery. It's uh, charged up and yeah, 12.82 and 31 million. Look, it's saying it's over, over range. And it's, uh, the 31 milliohms is blinking. That's because I'm on this cable that's got a couple feet down to the battery, and so that gives milliohms. All right, let's try this battery. This battery is the one I took off of the bat uh, Jeep because I let it die. Wow, look at that, 5.74 volts and 31 milliohms. So yeah, this one, I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna attempt to try to revive this, but yeah, look at that. Okay. So, low voltage and high milliohms. All right, guys, so what do you think? Uh, I've got little caps on this. These things are pretty sharp. Plus, you know, I don't, you don't, you want to be careful with those things because they're really, you know, I'm going to bring the camera over. We're going to take a closer look at these probes. But these are super cool probes. They're really comfortable to hold to the large handles. But yeah, you want to put those caps on, keep those tips safe. Uh, I'll show you why. We're going to bring the camera over. Now, this little guy, man, it's pretty small. It's got this shoulder strap. Uh, the way it's designed is it's got the hand strap in there so you can put your hand in there on either side. So, uh, USB ports on top. All kinds of, you know, ports. I'll bring the camera over. We'll take a closer look. But when you turn this thing on, you walk up to a battery and just test it. It's really easy. You can, so one thing you can do is you can take a measurement, store that, and then go look at a bunch of other batteries and compare those to the measurement you saved. Um, it's just really a neat setup. It's not inexpensive. Uh, forget what the price is. I'll show you down below. But yeah, uh, for a professional, somebody who's going through a lot of batteries, testing a lot of batteries, there's a lot of kind of hokey ways to test batteries that, you know, you have to question how repeatable they are. You know, something like this is very repeatable. This is the value of an instrument like this, is that your measurements from, if you go out and test a whole bunch of batteries, maybe some time go by, then you go test a bunch more, uh, the instrument's going to do the work for you. You don't have to remember what you did. And, you know, there's a temperature sensor on the top. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with this thing so that you're... Uh, measurements are accurate and that you know what you're doing so um, I just barely started looking in this thing I got to play with it a little longer one of the things I thought was kind of cool was the red leads kind of short but this black one you can extend so if you need to go to bigger battery bigger terminals you got that little extension so but I, I just like the feel right out of the gate and you know uh, I've used Hioki a long time before this channel uh, for power quality type stuff 
And then I contacted them because a, one of the viewers suggested I look at a multimeter. Since I did, and they are so kind to actually give me these meters, couldn't believe it, but uh, this 6,000 count, uh, 60,000, yeah, I think it's a 60,000 count. Anyway, this guy over here has become my favorite. For a 6,000 count meter, the DT4256 is awesome, but this 82, 4282, that is the, I've got an 87, I've got a 289 flukes, you know, but this one right here has become my favorite. As a matter of fact, I just read something uh, from one of the viewers that said, hey, I'm a fluke guy, but I tried out, bought one of these meters, and now, now that's his favorite meter, just like me. <laughs> Once you get a hold of that meter, yeah, you'll find out why. That 289 is a gigantic meter. Uh, that thing is a nice size meter. Anyway, so I really like their stuff. So I wanted to try out their battery testers because I've been interested in batteries lately. And I kind of wanted to do some testing. So this is just the beginning. Um, I don't, you know, I borrowed this, so I've got to return it. But maybe I can sneak in another video real quick. I don't know. Let me know what you guys would like to see the test. And maybe I can do one real quick. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for the Patreons. And thanks, Hioki, for sending this out to me. That was super kind of you guys. Um, it's nice that you trust me with this instrument. I got to, uh, and the case. You know what? Let's bring the camera over. Take a closer look one more time, okay? If you want to stick around and take a closer look at the instrument again, I'm going to do that for you. All right? All right, guys, first let's just take a uh, good look at the box just so you can see the box, okay? Yeah, just in case you're interested, the accessories and so on, okay? And by the way, again, three year warranty, so yeah. Alright, so let's set that side. Okay guys, the case, really nice. It's like one of those Pelican type cases. Maybe it is Pelican, I don't know. But CD right here, and the manual, battery tester, and the certificate in here. And this is the calibration device, okay? Nice Velcro in there. The USB, and there's actually a few set in here. and. I've got the leads connected up to it. Busy around testing and all that kind of stuff. You know what? Let me just show you the lead while we're looking at this thing. Alright guys, so that's what that thing looks like. So it's a little springy thing here. When you push on it, it knows when you make contact. Just a nice tip in there. That's how this thing gives such great measurements, I guess. And, yeah, so, the black tip's just like it. Yeah, so the black tip is just like it. Okay. Now, one thing about it is you can see that it has both the sense and the measurement. I mean, so, you got the source and the sense on both plus and minus together. All right, so the testes, they kind of wrap up. I, I just kind of left the tight wrap on. I didn't even undo it because they're long enough for me to take the measurements I was doing. And they just fit down inside here. So, yeah. Uh, is this beeping at me? So, yeah, you've got the hold, you know, your little keypad here, your memory. You can see all the little keys on here. Let me get a little closer. Alright, so there's a close up the keypad. They're nice, like a silicon kind of feel. Look, this one says guide. So, oh, guide off and guide on. So, I guess it'll walk you through some measurements, but you got the, you know, the beeper thing, the hold, all kinds of stuff going on here. It has this noise reduction technology. And by the way, I didn't really point out it has this nice silicon case to protect it. So, um, and just to show you the ports on the top, so you got your temperature port, your USB, and this one says external hold, so I don't know exactly what that is. I imagine there's some kind of switch where you can capture measurements. Yeah, I don't know what that is, honestly, guys. And battery compartment here, and there's where your fuse compartment would be. And you got your place for your extra fuses down here. So, 
It's a nice case. If you ever had a Pelican case, you know what I'm talking about. It's just super, it's what it feels like to me. So there you go. And hey guys, by the way, one thing I want to mention is they're giving a discount if you use the link down below for uh, members of the channel. So go ahead and use that link and you get a discount. You got a clear, read data. What is that? Zero adjust, ohms, volts. You know, this is so simple to use. I didn't even have to go through all these menus, but uh, I like to do another video. I'll read up on this and let me know what you guys think, what you like to see. Hey. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.